All right, I had recorded a really fun um, unboxing, but I actually wasn't recording. So I uh, just got in my Avalon Nano 3S from Helium Deploy. And um, below is a, a link in the description, which is an affiliate link. You're going to want one of these if you don't already have one. Um, absolute best price per, ter per terahash for um, SHA-256 mining at home. Um, and, uh, I want to recap just really quickly, a helium deploy did a great job getting this to me, um, in a short period of time, it was actually, um, I had a different package, which got lost in shipping and they basically gave me credit for that, which I applied to this, um, top shelf service from that group for sure. Appreciate how Canon, and I do want to ask you about this, um, home mining. I haven't really seen very nice packaging like you get from Canon, Canon, Can there it is right away. That came up quick. Connect. So now we're going to put it on our Wi-Fi. And you can see I actually am recording our power usage as well. So there we jump up right there. So from 100, pretty consistent 114 volts to now 120 volts, 121. And now we see our, our um, interface here. Okay. I don't want to change the password. Settings. Pool config. Address in. Paste. And this is going to be nano three s two password is just x. I have to do this three times because it will not let you um, move on until you filled this all the way out. I'm smart mining. Um, if I wanted to actually have a decent fall over, I could make this BTC instead of Bitcoin. But I like the smart mining um, much more than because it's easy. I can switch it on side of via inside of via BTC. Okay, now it's going to reboot. I can, it had a bunch of heat coming off of it. It's completely silent. Um, but now it's cool, and it's going to reboot. There it is rebooting. All right, we can see our IP address. Um, you can see it's not hashing yet, it's ramp ramping up. Time of day, date. Now we're starting to ramp up. And our power draw, 111 watts.
I can get to 130 watts. What do we see on our power draw here? What are we seeing on our power draw? So keep in mind this has a few other things on here. Um, move like a, one of my bit axes. And let's see, that Sono speaker. <laughs> and we're just kind of looking for the differential. So we're 194 and 131 at the machine. This says it's not hashing. Let's go see if we can figure that out. I can feel the heat coming off of it. We want some lights. We want it to loop. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like the breathing? Or do you like the loop? Or you can also do flash. I don't think I like flash. I like a uh, loop because it's a nice smooth transition and it goes through all the different colors. All right, why are we not hashing? Oh, there we go. Now we're hashing. So 3.65, 3.65. All right, we're going to get this installed in its new home and uh, check out the hashing. All right, we've got some weird stuff happening between the miner and the mining pool, and I'm not sure how to figure it out. It may just be that I have to wait. Um, but it shows that there are eight workers online right now. And if we go into the workers, um, oh, now it's showing it. Okay, so it may have just been time and I'm not patient. So we see it here um, in the list at 3.52 terahash. Um, and if we look at the interface, we're actually at 6.57, averaging 6.71. Um, but this is over 10 minutes, so that'll that'll move it right up to the top, I guess, probably. Um, but it says, oh, now it says, it did say that it was showing it as offline down here. Uh, but now it's showing it as online. Uh, yeah, so it's just patience. Patience, not not my virtue. But here we see our hash rate jumping up. So very cool. We'll come back after maybe another 10 minutes or so and see how that looks. All right, we've been mining for about 30 minutes now, 33 minutes. And um, I screwed up when I first uh, put in the pool information, which you may have caught, and I didn't, because I didn't put my account name in. And with via BTC, you don't mine to a wallet address, you mine to your account, and then you can withdraw your uh, coins uh, to any wallet that you want. Um, so it's not always, you know, going to the same wallet if, unless you want it to do that. Um, anyway, so uh, 34 minutes, we are uh, an average of 6.72 terahash, a real time 6.63. And yeah, there's there's where I messed that up. Um, and if we go over to the pool, see if we match that. Um, I love this. I love these little steps. Okay, uh, let's go to workers. And here we see it. The 10 minute average at the pool is 6.92 terahash. Um, yeah, that's not going to show us a whole lot right now. Uh, let's see. We'll go back to the dashboard. So I did a little experiment here where I took my Nano 3 first generation and my uh, and my Bidax, which runs around one and a half terahash, and I put them on to Fractal Bitcoin. That was a mess. Uh, and you can see here I brought them back on. And then that's been well, the last 24 hours or so. And then here's the big jump from that big guy. Where is he? Right there. 
right there, um, chugging away. So we are at uh, eight users or uh, workers rather, and basically 22 terahash. That's pretty awesome. We, you may have noticed, we are uh, pool mining BCH, and I'm going to do another video. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for hanging around. Like and subscribe. And um, I'm going to talk about why you should be pool mining with your solo lottery miners. But that'll be another video for another time. Thanks for hanging out. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I love feedback. If uh, I got something wrong besides the account, <laughs> let me know. And uh, thanks a lot to Helium Deploy uh, for getting this to me so quickly and um shout out to Can canon for uh canon can and anyway um for really great retail packaging all right thanks a lot